Hello game replays. This is Chains and I'm gonna shoutcast this game here. Uh, it's a short game I played earlier today. And it is for educational value I think. So I'm gonna watch from my opponent's perspective and then I'm gonna see what he did wrong and what he could have done better. Okay, let's go play. Play the replay. Um <coughs> He is an airborne player and his name is Teridis. And we are playing on Semwa. So he's starting out with two engineers, pretty standard. Um, he got some abilities here over here too. I dropped smoke, spy drops, air recognitions. Airborne, pair drop and straight and run. Okay. And he also, also got some army items over here. Uh, why I picked this replay is because of I've done this strat with uh, uh, tier one units and then straight to Pumas and. A lot of people are having trouble with that strategy to deal with it. So we'll see here how it goes. He built his skilled riflemen now and they are gonna go out and cap. In this game he built yeah, he built skilled riflemen and he got Wilsons too. Nothing much going on at the moment. He's very aggressive with his capping order though. It took a long time for him to cap this fuel point which which is very important to hold early on, I think. Much important, more important than uh, this uh, munitions point over here. So we have our first engagement here. I'm gonna set up, get in range of the this weapon. You see the angle over there. And as you can see, he got up to retreat those. A bit over aggressive, maybe. Caught easily by my heavy machine gun team. Here. Okay, so he's continuing to cap the map. When he saw my MG there, he wants down in the south to cap instead of going uh, over here again in this area. So uh, I have to retreat those pioneers because they were very low health and you don't want to engage riflemen from this range when, they, when your pirates are at low health. It's easy to forget to retreat in time. So, um, uh, we have some uh, decent decent map control with both of us, about equal, I think. And is he gonna run into that machine gun over here? Yes, he is gonna do that. But unfortunately <laughs> I managed to reset up my MG there, so... Ooh, he throws down airdrop smoke. And he's gonna try and flank that MG. And I see that and I, I need to back up, back out. To don't to not uh, get negative cover so, ooh, nice nade here. My my <laughs> volt cylinder is gonna go down so hard. 
Yeah, that was a stupid mistake by me. Should have retreated. I was like, thought I was gonna win when I upgraded with the MP40s, but Wilson's are very strong and close range. So they are gonna win that engagement. And now uh, Terray is, is pushing me back. I don't have much units out on the field now. Across the river, I mean. So, so uh, Teradis is gonna have a lot of muni income at the moment. You can see his muni income is 64. And when you get that much muni coming into your bank, you should try and put down mines over in this area, this area, and yeah, there are many areas you want to put down mines. And highlighting some of some of them here. Cause when you are gonna later on face tier three, which I am checking to right now. Those mines are so effective against Kumas. And uh, accompanied by um, a T gun, you can do it. You can easily take out of those Kumas in no time. So he's pretty much doing a good job so far, pushing me back. I've got only the medium fuel point and medium unit point over here. Also, I got this one, but it's gonna get capped now by the engineers. So, interesting choice here. He's gone for uh, a uh, supply drop where he picks up the MG to counter my T1 units. And we're gonna see how that goes. I think that's pretty good cover over here. Green cover versus Oops, Grenadiers. Yep. Okay, interesting. We have a uh, heavy MG versus a lot of riflemen. And a heavy MG. For me and some bolts. But I have to get out of there because all my shit got suppressed. I have to retreat all of them. So I'm even more pushed back now. And Teradis is just taking supply yard at the moment. As you can see I have tier 3 up. And I'm gonna begin building my first Puma very soon. You can see the game is about half done already. Okay, he's, he's, I only got 2 points left on the whole map. And we're gonna see some real terrible mistakes from Teradis soon. When you get this far with the Americans and push their Wehrmacht into their base like this, you need to put down more solid defenses like uh, wire and uh, mines, as I said earlier. And you're really gonna try and take up to whatever you need to keep that. Um, Pressure on the uh, Axis forces. Oh, with the first mine over here. We got a lot of munis, man. You should really put down mines. Taking to weapons support center is a bad idea, I think. You should have gone for the um, motor pool. Maybe you would have won the game. So I'm gonna try and push back those engineers over here. You can see I have a lot of volts and MG and uh, two pioneer over here. Oh, he gets behind the hedge here. Interesting. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't get suppressed at all. We have smoke for uh, come down here at the volts engineers. But he doesn't pay attention and I kill the whole squad of engineers. 
Oop. We got a flank here incoming. The rifleman gets suppressed for some reason. And that whole squad went down of riflemen. And we're gonna change chase, chase these rifles. Oh my gosh, I picked up two of those bars. He also managed to ready. take the mortar from the supply drop over there. He's mortaring nothing. The machine gun team has a pretty low health. Almost down to half. Flanking that mortar, he's gonna have to retreat. Those rifles are in a terrible position now. They are running through red cover now. They're running around Hanover. Versus Puma and a um, sniper. So here we, we're gonna see the MG gets into that house. He's gonna phase out two squads of Volksgrenadiers and a Puma. That MG is gonna go down so fast because Pumas, yeah, they can just flank here and take it out very easily, as you said, as you could see there. Wilson's gonna try to bazooka this uh, Puma. He managed to get a one shot up. Puma's pretty hurt. Meanwhile, <laughs> cuts and Myers is. And the sniper is doing a lot of damage to this squad, and he has to retreat. It's lucky he, he even got out of there alive. So we need a AT, and he got an AT gun. He needs an MA2, and he's gonna build it later though. He all also got. Recoil us on the way, but I, I'm putting pressure on this uh, squad here with my sniper. Down to three men for the MG over there, doing a lot of damage to those rifles. Oh, don't throw! He's gonna throw a satchel. See. I'm getting out in time and I'm gonna be okay. Not a single man hurt. That's uh, a lot of munis down the drain for Kiradis. Another squad down. I can focus fire squads to get uh, to kill the low health squads quicker. AP rounds activated, but uh, as you know, those Pumas are very mobile and can, can just flank this, this MG I mean, with the, uh, easily. Okay, two Pumas versus. Oh, the, yeah, I um, two Pumas versus Greyhound. And an AT gun. The T gun easily gets. Flank there, three minutes, and I'm gonna take out everything over here. The rifleman get, goes down so quickly. There's a double bar, the rocks and this. And that is the game. Playback over. So that was a very quick replay. Uh, what he could have done better, as I said, put mines and take earlier to an M8. This uh, weapon support center was pretty unnecessarily because you you already got your uh, MG from the supply drop. Why bother building a weapon support center? 
Okay, I understand if you want to get snipers, but... Yeah. You gotta put, the, put down mines and get AT earlier. Or at least vehicles to counter the Pumas. I'm gonna have to put down a miner. Okay. Well, that's all for this uh, shout, short shoutcast. And we'll see you guys next time.